Everything happened too fast somehow. One moment I was crossing the street, and only a couple of seconds later I sort of sensed a double crack as a truck passed over my body. My whole life appeared as a shortcut in my head. Memories passing memories. I emerged here in the tunnel and awaited what would come next. I knew there was no way back, and one of the lanes stopped for me. Would it be hell, purgatory, or hell? I'd expect anything but to look like that. It wouldn't have occurred to me even in my worst nightmares. And then they came for me. What have you done to me? What do I look like? And why am I wrapped up in this sheet? First, let's clarify our position, shall we? I am your boss. And therefore, you're going to call me sir. Second, I'm the one who's talking here. Third, Welcome to your new form as an ordinary, and I'm stressing the word ordinary, member of our ghost catching organization. And if you don't want us to take the sheet away from you, you'll fulfill my orders without any discussion. I was going to ask you for that. I don't consider the sheet joke very funny. So sheet joke, you say? Sheet joke? Do you know what happens when I take the sheet away? Your sister hold together, and the wind will blow you apart in all directions. You will become a very scattered personality. Is that clear to you? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's have a briefing now. Since you don't know and don't need to know any details, I'll make it short. We've recently realized that someone or something is interfering with our ghost-catching organization. Mortals are dying, but their souls never reach the tunnel. Unfortunately, my best ghosts are already busy elsewhere, but this looks like a good task for a greenhorn such as you. My intelligence reports to me that the latest events are related to a certain abandoned factory. What you see here is the entrance to the premises. It is exactly the place we're going to send you to find out what happened there. By the way, while there, you'll probably figure out who was the one so neatly driving you over. There wasn't much left of you. As a ghost, you'll probably be able to make use of diverse skills. You wouldn't get very far in your astral body. You'll be learning them as your experience grows. For the start, I'll give you telekinesis so you won't lose time by fooling around too long. How it works, you can figure out for yourself. This isn't a kindergarten. Everything clear? Yes, sir. And don't forget, you can take off your sheet. Your story is over. That's it. The door is over there. So, I've been given my first mission. I didn't have time to look around, and already someone is bossing me. Again. And moreover, in such a dishonorable condition, that I'll be better off checking that factory thing, so I don't have to think about the absurdity of my existence. Ghost... in the sheet. The passage through the pan-dimensional portal is a really interesting experience. It's a pity I didn't have anything like that while still alive. On the other hand, I'd rather choose a different destination. I see that my boss fulfilled his promises. Such generosity. He could have kept it to himself, along with his great factory. Aha, let's remember how my boss taught me to survive in the afterlife. By moving the mouse on the afterlife screen, I search for something which attracts my attention. If so, my cursor shape changed, and in the bottom part of the screen a caption appeared, indicating what I'm looking at. Like now, for example, the fence caught my attention. There's also another cursor which indicates that I can leave via that exit. 
It's supposed to look like this. That's it. If the left mouse button is clicked on something that's attracted my attention, I'll examine it or go that way depending on the type of attraction indicated by the cursor. To be able to exist in the afterlife, I have to use the paranormal skills which I can find here. After the activation of any of these skills, my scary cursor changes and I can use it on anything that's attracted my attention. To discard that skill, I can use the right mouse button. To make the paranormal skill selection faster, I can speed up the process by using the function keys. F1, F2, F3, etc. Corresponding to the skills order from the top to the bottom. Right now I can only use F1 because I'm only able to use one skill. Well, I think that could be all. Or actually maybe not. I can access the game menu by pressing the escape key on the keyboard. Here I can save my game in the afterlife cans. I can always return to the canned game. And mainly, I'm never supposed to put away my sheet. So, good luck. I'll try to take it off the hinges. No way, it's too sturdy. Impossible. The door is locked and the bar won't smash it.